Okay, so this is a weird one about confidence and looks and all that other sort of crap and not the usual sort of thing I would rant about. But today we're going to talk also about the choice of variety of clothes in them because obviously what do you get? T-shirts or T-shirts with stupid slogans or band names or whatever and if you wear the same colour T-shirts you get told it's the same sort of thing and you know some of my clothes I have a bit more variety like a bit of a zip on the sleeve of this long sleeve t-shirts. I don't like stupid slogany band t-shirts and different materially shirts and different materially t-shirts which is inside out. No you get medium t-shirts or large t-shirts or small t-shirts not very well fitting clothes and the same with trousers. It's like 30L, 32L, 28L, different sizes I've been and 28L is next to impossible to find and if you do find it you end up with this situation where you have some cow waists because they expect you to be humongous. That's where you can have the crop round your knees if you wear them sensibly. <laughs> with the waist sensibly. And um, that's not really sensible to walk around in either. And then we had trousers that I've got on now, which did have more bits on and look a bit different to normally sort of clothes. If you could even hear me talk while I'm stuck up there. And it's just ridiculous. You don't really get a much variety in clothes, and the only reason that, that has some sort of interesting stuff is because they're actually women's trousers, but I don't particularly care about things like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you want to wear something that looks interesting, well, if you like, doesn't matter. Just they should give more variety in men's clothes, but no, if you're a man, you're meant to have stupid gel cut hair, which looks like a penis on the top of your head, and short hair, and if you got long hair, like one job opportunity you had ages ago. Oh, would you be willing to cut your hair? No. I mean, you know, I'm more than capable than most people are doing the job and you're going to make it down to whether I cut my hair or not. That's kind of stupid, don't you think? <laughs> kind of discriminatory. But no, as a single straight male with long hair, you're not considered, well, at least you weren't then. I mean, now I think rockers have discriminatory status, but... It's still silly that you discriminate for things like that and glasses are the next stupid thing that I want to talk about. I mean, fashionable glasses that are tiny and drop down to where you vision so you end up with losing your chin line and losing your actual head orientation so they don't sit properly up there and if you want to put them where they sit properly they stand into your eyes and you break off the little thing that sits on it and if you want to field of vision that works right, you can't get glasses that are big enough to fit the field of vision, you've got the stupid lens frames around the edges, so that when you take them off you get the burnt vision of the frame still there, and it probably fucks up your eyes even more, so that doesn't really do a good job of fixing them, but I guess for the life thing it's probably not just for the fact that they're saving money on glass and all this other shit, it's probably that because I have seen older people with noses that have stuck out half a mile where they've distorted from the glasses weighing down on them, but I guess that's at least something. But sitting in front of the computer screen longer than you should, because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere with transport that comes back at 20 to 5 at the latest, and hardly any transport in between, and you have to set out first thing in the morning in order to be able to get that. And if you want to remotely get to Birmingham, it's an hour each way, plus sat around on the station for at least an hour. So that's three hours of your day you've lost waiting just to get there. So you can't really travel anywhere from stuck in the middle of the countryside, which also takes an extra hour in total for the bus transport. So, you know, it's half an hour each way into town just to get to the train. Ooh, not really ideal situation to be stuck in. I was thinking about doing a Quantum Leap parody about facing mirror images that you're not your own and hoping each day to put right what once went wrong, striving to put right what once went wrong, hoping each day that the next trip will be the trip back home to Birmingham. But yeah, kind of a lot of effort for just a silly little video like this. Plus, what can you do? And 
fact that I've put on weight stuck in the middle of nowhere, I don't really look like myself anymore. I look like a member in general. Very, it's been pointed out to me that I look like a member in general. And it's like, yeah, I don't look like I look when I'm in shape and able to work and able to be happy and get around and do more than just sit about all day. But yeah, that's what you get facing in this situation of stuck here and putting on weight and it's amazing what putting on a little bit of weight does. I mean, people think, oh no, that person's lazy, they've put on weight and because I've got a naturally smaller frame anyway, it looks even bigger than normal. And it's just like, yeah, I'm sat around doing nothing. I could easily, when I'm back in Birmingham, get back into shape and, you know, walk around and go to town and exercise and not be spending all day trying to catch up on sleep where I'm not allowed to sleep because stupid idiots bashing through the scene all day and all night. So you spend half the day in bed asleep trying to catch up on sleep. Otherwise you get headaches and brain damage and all this other shit and falling unconscious anyway. So yeah, I think my sanity is definitely something that needs restoring above my physical image, don't you? No. Putting on a little bit of weight, people are like, oh, what a lazy person, oh, 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 and all this sort of shit. And it's like, yeah, we put far too much emphasis on looks these days. I mean, you should really care more about the personality of the person. But yeah, I'm not saying looks don't have an influence, but don't judge it based on silly things like that. Because people can lose weight, people can get back into shape, especially when I'm not six ton overweight tow truck. But even then, you know that can change or people like that and there are people that are attracted to that so don't find yourself unattractive just because the majority of people will tell you oh no that's not attractive there are people that still find all these other things attractive or intelligence attractive and various things so whoever you are I'm sure there's at least one thing that people are finding attractive even if you're not particularly happy with the way you are right now and if you're not happy with the way you are you can always change it and that's the thing anyone can change at any time maybe you can't change your physical image i mean i've got a broken nose where tommy corns and wayne bremner in high school decided to break it and i think that's had an influence on my face as well so it's not even anymore it's like i've got one side that's right and the other side that's messed up from it and yeah, that depresses me a lot of the time, but there's not a lot you can do about that. And yeah, I used to be attractive back then more than I was now, but what can you do? Some, I still get ladies that find me attractive. So, but the worst is that people find a tiny bit of a stomach an issue. And it's like, yeah, I don't particularly want to know you because yeah, that's not really an issue because you don't know my situation and that I'm sat around stuck in the middle of nowhere and depressed and trying my best to get back into a good situation where I can even get food for myself and make food for myself and not eat whatever I'm given and just be happy with it. So, yeah, deal with that. I mean, if you're in my situation, I'd like to see how you end up. But hypocrites. <coughs> and everyone likes to gaslight different things and like they say, it's the people that are in charge look have the power and often the people that they say are the attractive women have ugly man faces and man chins so I don't see how that's remotely attractive because it's not feminine but hey that's what popular people tell you is attractive but I guess 2015 is the year of being yourself and not being a douchebag so stop being a twat and like what you like and don't like what everyone else tells you you have to like and all this other shit just be yourself and I've had situations where people have said that people have put on fake accents to impress them and all this other thing. Now my accent is crazy, it goes all over the place. I know it goes Irish, Australian, Southern, crappy Malvern, Birmingham. Ugh. It's, it's just a mess of, I don't know what, half the time. So, yeah, you've probably noticed that in a lot of videos that I have no control over whatever my accent turns out to be at the time, but when people deliberately fake it, then it's not good. And you can also tell on this in people's faces if they don't have an honest face and if they've got like, you're so beautiful and all this other shit. Oh, I don't know why people tell you you have a ugly ear. I find your ear very attractive. And it's like, no, don't use neurolinguistics around me. The worst is the one person that was like, 
oh, you strike me as a very intelligent person. It's like, how can you say that from just looking at someone? But yeah, it's an NLP method. It's like, if they don't think you're attractive, they don't think you'll go for compliments to your look. So the first tactic is to tell them how intelligent they look. Because, yeah, they're basically calling you ugly if they do that and they don't know a thing about you. It's like, oh, you strike me as a very intelligent person. It's like, you won't fall for me flattering you physically, so I will flatter you mentally, even though you've done nothing but say hello. Oh, yes, you're a very intelligent person. You can string a sentence together. Yeah, I do have an IIQ, but, you know, you can't tell that from hi, hello, handshake. No. <laughs> yeah. Neurolinguistics just put me on edge and learn it yourself and every time someone does it I want to go your Jedi mind tricks do not work on me <laughs> but yeah it's not really Jedi tricks either because it's kind of evil vindictive and scummy tactics but that's what seems to succeed in the world today the scumminess of the world and yeah hopefully 2015 will not be the year of the scumbags and the liars and the slaps and ugh and Look at the next generation that's coming up, the children that are pretty mentally screwed up right now. I mean, yeah, they say one in four people have disorders and kind of, yeah, you know, people do. And most people, more than one in four seem to, but the next generation just seem to go with it. You know, it's like, let's just embrace how psychotic and crazy and selfish and weird we can be and not give a care about anyone but ourselves. And it's like, that's not really the way of the world. And if you do that, then the next generation is going to be so fucked, fucked beyond us, and we're already a screwed generation. So, yeah, I don't look forward to seeing how things turn up, and I'm not sat in a comfortable position. That must look really stupid. So, back to looks, and yeah. It's a sad fact of the world that it does matter, and people do care about how they look. I mean, I want to have my head oriented back the way it's meant to be and not looking down my nose or my glasses halfway down my nose and stupid other things but yeah sitting in front of the computer screen too often and stupid glasses that don't sit right so my chin doesn't look right my head don't look right and uh, especially when you're making videos it's kind of important but what can you do anyway it's a bit of a crazy meaningless rant isn't it so Thank you for watching and hopefully be happy with yourself and the way you are and people that like you and just don't be afraid to be yourself and I, yeah, I know, I don't know if it's a thing that it is actually bad luck to say your New Year's resolutions but I seem to have come to that conclusion myself so it's not my main resolution so I'm not really giving that away but I'm going to try and get back into shape even stuck out here in the countryside because I'm not happy with the way I look, so that's my thing. And, you know, if you're not happy with something about yourself, you can change it. So make that the year of 2015 that you make sure you're happy with who you are, I guess, would be a message to come out with because that's the main thing. As long as you're happy with yourself, then that's all that matters. Have a good year. Thank you for watching.